Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be doing the very first water change in about five months on the 300 gallon display. Now it is technically 500-ish with the tub and the two grow out low boys, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna call it the 300. Now, I am gonna put some overlay here uh, because it is really blue. So anyway, uh, in this video, I wanna get in here and remove as much of the detritus out of the main display as I possibly can. Now, over the last uh, what, three or four days, I have been working in the tub using my 3D printed filter sock holder that just connects here to a five gallon bucket. Hold your filter sock, allows you to kind of clean out detritus and then leaving the, letting the water go through and then putting that water back into the tub and just continuing that process. So over the last, what, three or four days, I've gone through maybe, I don't know how many filter socks are in here, a lot. So that's between the three tanks, a lot of detritus. And now pretty much all that's left is maybe one filter sock for the tub and of course all of the detritus that's at the bottom of the 300 gallon reef behind uh, all the rocks and all that kind of stuff. Now there's a lot of skeletons and stuff I gotta remove and I actually just finished cleaning the glass. Now elephant in the room, kind of. Yeah, the tank does not look like what it did on the live stream the other day. So if you're new to the channel, I actually made that video about two or three months before I overhauled this entire system. Uh, thanks to Big Bertha there, um, a lot of colonies had to be removed, not only because they were growing into each other, but because she was actively destroying them. I mean, ripping out huge chunks. If you follow me on Instagram or have just been watching the videos over the last year, this fish has, <laughs> she's not coming to the new tank. She is not invited. She is, she's done a lot of damage. But either way, the tank is really empty and it's okay because it has to be this way. And I have this strange suspicion that this big old piece of green slimer is the next one to go. She's been bumping it lately and she likes hanging out around it. So yeah, she's a, she's a big girl. So anyway, uh, yeah. The tank does not look like what it used to, but that's okay because we used all the colonies that she broke. I made frags. So between these two tanks is probably 250, 300 actual um, little mini colonies. And most of them in this right tank are actually in the uh, tub because I've been cleaning out the frag tank. So either way, I will move those back over once I uh, kind of get done with it. So yeah, this should be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the process. Now we do only have about 20 gallons worth of water to do this. Uh, the reason why I don't wanna do any more is because my nutrients are already pretty low. Um, again, trying to keep up with everything, keep the system going. And uh, like I mentioned before, I wanted to make a video on life. You know, how to keep your tank alive when life happens. Life has been pretty uh, busy over the last 10 months and unfortunately my systems have kind of suffered a little bit because of it. But now that things are calming down and getting back to normal, um, I'm able to, uh, to get in here and, and start working on them again. Now, with everything in life, you know, it, it happens for a reason. So regardless of how stressful things were and how things are now, I wouldn't change it. And I'm pretty thankful that everything is still going and the business is doing well. And uh, yeah, we'll do an update on this, this crazy expansion of printers. So we'll look forward to that here in the next day or two. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and get in here and start cleaning the system. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this real quick. Uh, we got one camera set up for the filter sock and one for the uh, the tank. And, and shout out to BRS for allowing me to uh, make this video happen today. Uh, just follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Either way, I'm gonna just do one bucket full. I'll show you guys how the filter sock holder works and dumping the water back in, and then we'll move over to the uh, main display. So let's go and get started. Gotta start the siphon, baby. Stick her in there, come in here, and then just lift up the rack. Uh, one good thing about it being connected, the connect rack system is that it uh, stays connected. So I'll just come in here and move the hose around, and you can't really see. But I'll just siphon out as much as I can. And you can see in the bucket there that there's a little crack. I always like to find stuff underneath the rack. Um, and just gets down in there. Gotta keep an eye on the five gallon bucket. Trust me on that one. Uh, there's been a few times but it has uh, overflowed. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering why I haven't done water change in this long, and actually, I have been technically doing water changes this entire time. Uh, whenever I ship out coral, um, I don't think I mentioned this on the intro, probably not, and if I did, I'll just edit this shit out, but um, when I ship coral, it goes with about six to eight ounces of water, and uh, that adds up. So if you do about 200 frags a day, four days a week, for, you know, every week for five months, uh, if any of you guys are mathematicians here and want to do that math, you can calculate uh, how much water I've actually um, cha changed over the last five months. But anyway, we're getting full there, so pull it out. Mm -hmm. Come 
water out. Up the hose. Depending on where you put this, you might have to you know, move it because I didn't think that far ahead. And uh, yeah, just come in here and lift up. Pour back to the tank. And you can continue this process as many times as you want because you're not technically removing the water altogether. And uh, yeah. By connected it all the way. Anyways, so that's it for the bucket. Maybe if I put this on here, it's gonna drive me nuts. There we go. All right, nice and secure. So that's it. If you want to, if I wanted to continue this process, I still could probably take out another four or five filter socks full. Uh, but for the sake of the video and things that I need to get done today, we're just gonna move over to the main display and uh, do that. All right, so we're just about to jump into the 300 and get that detritus out. But before I get started, I want to show you guys where all the salt water will be going, or at least 20 gallons of it. And that is this 55 gallon drum. It's actually one of the original RODI buckets or barrels that I had before I upgraded to the 160 gallon. And uh, yeah, it's got a ball valve, some lock line, and it's on some pretty sketchy set of wheels. But either way, as long as I don't fill it all the way up to the top, it's pretty easy to roll. And then I can just dump it out through the ball valve. So yeah, with that said, let's get in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna throw on some music uh, while I do the majority of this just because I don't have anything to talk about and I don't think you guys wanna hear me breathing over here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys probably noticed that uh, I've been moving a lot of the skeletons forward. Um, I am going to collect all these and add them to my future calcium reactor media bin, which you guys will see either later in this video or in another video. But I'm going to attempt to get back here and get all this without destroying that giant colony of uh, green slimer. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. So I got what I could out of there. Um, now I'm going to take the uh, fish net and try to move all this stuff forward to the front of the tank. And you guys will see it towards the end. I did pretty well. It just kept clogging. You can see there's just a ton of stuff back there. But uh, yeah, let's do that real quick. Now I'm moving over to the right side of the tank. Uh, one thing I gotta remember is I only have 20 gallons to do all of this, so it's not gonna be perfect. And uh, yeah, realizing that, not accepting it, just realizing it. So uh, let's go and get this one done. So I'm getting pretty close to the 20 gallon mark on the barrel there and I want to stop just in case because I don't want to pull out too much water and have to make some to make up for it. So yeah, what's left is get in here with the fishnet and get all these coral skeletons and dead snails and all that kind of stuff. There's a few back here um, and then there's still a lot of detritus left in this tank but like I said, I, I decided to do 20 gallons and that's it. And man, the starfish is still rocking. Speaking of longevity, I think I did lose my wrasse. I haven't seen him uh, since I cleaned the glass and I don't know when he passed away, but this, this guy is almost six years. Crazy. Anyways, uh, back on topic. So there's still a lot of stuff, but it is what it is. Um, I'll come back in a couple weeks and do another 20 gallons and then hopefully the system will be back to normal. But either way, yeah, 
So let's go to move on and get that stuff out and uh, top it off. So much stuff in there. So real quick guys, I just pulled these skeletons off the bottom of the tank. Of course, there's some uh, snail shells in there. Um, I am saving them. Uh, this is just kind of what I've accumulated over the last uh, five or six months. And I will do a separate video on using this stuff as calcium reactor media. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to pull out what I want to keep out of here. Obviously, I'm not going to use the uh, seashells or the, sea the snail shells. I don't know why I call them seashells, but technically it's from the sea, right? Anyways, uh, I'm going to pull out what I want, put it in here. Uh, just a heads up. Um, this is probably the worst smelling container in the world. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, all right, so we can keep this one. This one's fine. Whew, I can already smell it. Damn. Oh, freaking. So now this is technically still alive, but barely. Uh, the chances of that making it, I could barely even talk. Whew. <laughs> this is still good. I know that was red. Oh, we got to hurry this shit up. Man. You think BO is bad? Or stripper? I'm, I, oh man, I can't say that. I'm going to bleep that out. I can't. I cannot say that in this video if I want to keep it monetized. Anyway, there's the junk. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, back to the video. Alright guys, now for the sake of the video, I went ahead and skipped recording uh, cleaning the sump. Uh, I just, I don't want the video to be too long. But either way, I went ahead and just poured all that detritus into this bucket which then will go into the 55 gallon and then disposed of. Now when it comes to topping this off, I already went ahead and turned on the return pumps. And now I just gotta come over here to my barrel and turn the valve and it will start filling up. Now, as you can hear there, uh, the return pump is out competing the overflow of that. So what I'll do now is just come over to my apex real quick and turn off the pumps. Let the sump actually uh, fill back up with the fresh salt water and then I'll just turn it back on and continue that process until it's full. But uh, yeah, either way it's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna clean up this disaster of a fish room and then once it's done and topped off and kind of back to normal, uh, we'll conclude the video, all right? All right guys, well that's it for the video. The tank is pretty cloudy, but I did manage to get 20 gallons worth of detritus out of here. Now, my next water change, I plan on doing another 20 gallons in about two weeks. At that point, I will change the carbon and clean the power heads I'll show you guys that. I actually um, have an easier way of cleaning them. It involves a, uh, a power jet or a power washer. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I'll show you guys that in the next video or another video, not the next one, because the next one's probably going to be a fish room update. Either way, um, you guys will see that in the future. And uh, yeah, let's just go and take a quick look at the tub here. Uh, it's pretty good. Now, of course, there is still, like I mentioned before, plenty of detritus underneath this frag rack system. And uh, I'll have to take care of that in the next water change. But 20 gallons is pretty good and the tank is already seeming to be a little bit happier than it was but uh yeah i gotta move all these tiles back over to the low boy on the right hand side move them back over there and then uh, just kind of clean things up but either way guys if you want to support the channel uh you can head over to fishofhex.com now i do want to mention i have started doing a lifetime uh, military discount of or a veteran discount of 20 percent. all you have to do is email me at fishofhex at gmail.com and i will set your account up Give you a specific promo code that only you can use and then that will take 20 percent off your orders forever now i forgot to mention cannot get this coralline off i can't it's just not happening so that's there to stay until big bertha comes through and i mean look at this whole colony's been held up by this little little chode of a of a <laughs> section there oh it's done i know it's done i can I, within two weeks i can i can just see it now but either way and that's it for the video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, sorry the tank isn't as beautiful as it once was, but uh, that's just part of doing business, and that's part of learning about fish. You. She's like, what? You talking to me? Uh, and your beautiful streamers. Uh, yeah, lessons learned, right? So either way, guys, hopefully, again, for the third time, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. All right? Peace.